Hey y'all, Danny Moon here, and this is for the Saggies, Sagittarius. Um, Nate, Mr. Nate, you know this is for you. <laughs> you specifically asked for it, so I'm sorry it took so long, but I'm telling you, my life is crazy. Um, uh, and I must say, y'all, this isn't, I'm not going to say that this reading is bad. But this reading is about the difficult side of you guys, I guess, to say. I don't know what to say. it. And I'm going to give you a bonus reading. Today's reading, I'm going to try to make it short. And it's just really going to be channeling. But, of course, I do have my cards in my hand because I'm fidgety and I just want to shuffle all day. So, if Spirit decides to take something out, it is going to come out, okay? But today is just going to be channeled messages. That's why... I am going to give you a bonus. And the reason why I'm doing only channel messages is because I wasn't going to do a video. I have somewhere to go. I have a lot of things to do today before I go to work. But I just said, Spirit, can you give me the energy of the Sagittariuses? And so many messages came through that there was no way that I couldn't have did a video. So, <clears throat> um when I come back, um, maybe that'll be Monday because Monday I'm off. So maybe I'll try to do something Monday. I'll give you like a full spread and hopefully by Monday things will change. Again, all the channeling and all the cards, whatever cards come out, will not resonate with every single Sagittarius person in the world. It's just impossible. Um, but if you want a personal reading, you can hit me up at moondanny1976 at gmail.com. I do it like this because I always forget. <laughs> Um, moondanny1976 at gmail.com. I also, my friend came over and made like a Facebook page for me. It's called, um, Sessions and Guidance with Danny Moon. I love the name. I, I love more the, the look of the, the page. So first find me on my regular page, which is Karen Alexander. And then try to find Sessions and Guidance with Danny Moon. Please just try, okay? And here for YouTube, please press subscribe and like and leave a comment so that YouTube can get my videos out there. Okay, all of that is said and out of the way. Here we go, Sages. I'm going to be honest. The first thing I got was angry. That was the first thing I got. Um... Sorry, y'all. Um, that was one of the first things that I got was the word angry. You know, spirit doesn't talk to me like, hey, girl, let me tell you about the Sagittarius. No, they give me words, pictures, numbers, or like action pictures moving. You know what I'm saying? So they gave me indecisive um, decisions decisions to be made which is the same thing as indecisive so if they if spirit told me that twice in different terms different ways that means that means there's some heavy decisions that need to be made within your life you know i don't know why work just popped in my head probably because spirit put it in there so if you if you need to make some decisions about work and you're being stagnant and just staying in the same place because of this is what I know or I'm scared or where am I gonna go what am I gonna do then just stay indecisive and just stay stagnant because that's what you want to do. You understand what I'm saying? I am not the type of reader that's going to be like, well, Spirit said, no, I'm going to tell it, tell you like it is. You know, if you want to be stubborn, because that is one of the words I got. Let me show you this paper. This is all for Sagittarius's. I had to come up here and write above, and I didn't even decide to turn the page. I said, let me just record this. So my thing is, if you decide that you want to be stubborn because God gives us free will to do whatever we want to do, then you want to be in the same position that you are in. Don't come to tarot or, or go anywhere for advice if you are going to be stubborn. Like, oh, this is me. I'm staying right here, but I don't like it here. Then it don't make no sense. 
Same thing goes for a relationship. Now, is that easier said than done? Of course it is. But if you don't try to take action in your life by making a decision, God is not going to help you move. Your spirit guides can't help you if you don't decide to take action in the right direction. Um, so the next thing I got was, and this probably is for a different bunch of, of Sagittarius's. I don't really know. The reason I say that is because I first got indecisive and decisions need to be made. And then I got clarity about moving forward. So I don't know who this is for. I'm not a Sag. So if you got clarity about moving forward with your life and that means you made a decision, kudos to you. You know what I'm saying? Because that means you let the mask down, you, you let the wall down, and you decided, like, let me listen to either people around me who's trying to help me, or let me listen to my higher self. That means you meditated, you went within, you did the hermit thing. That means you really decided to move forward for a better life for you. That's excellent. Um, the next thing I got, and I got this two times, maybe two and a half times, because I, I said to Spirit, vital information? Is that what you're saying to me? And Spirit said, vital information. So somebody out there got some information either on your spouse, on your boss, or on your friend, or on your cousin. All of that just came to my head right now. A family member, I don't know. You got some vital information that can make or break that person or maybe even make or break you. You know what I'm saying? So here's what I tell you. And this, this energy is coming in strong. So I know this is for somebody or many of you. If you come to any tarot, even my, most of all my channel, you know that the foundation of this spiritual walk is love the foundation of this of anything we do is love so if you got vital information and you thinking of how you can use it if it's not within love then you need to click off this channel then you need to go somewhere else seriously because I am not, my spirit guides and me, we not going to tell you like, ooh, use that information. Like, yeah, revenge. I'm not about that life. I was about that life. I could be about that life. <laughs> but I'm not about that life no more. You know what I'm saying? You got vital information. They're showing me, they're showing me the angel answer deck and they're showing me communicate, the communicate card. Don't get me wrong. Take this information and chop it up. See what you know and see what you can hold. Don't get me wrong. You always got a back pocket. See what you can hold. But talk to the people. Communicate. Clear the air. Put it out on the table. Let them know. I know. You know what I'm saying? Let them know. I know. You know what I'm saying? Because if you come to this channel, I really do feel like a lot of you or all of you are gifted. So your intuition is is what's probably telling you this vital information before you even got this vital information. They're showing me a cell phone. So maybe somebody looked through a phone um, and got this information. Maybe somebody got a phone call and got this information. I don't know. But just go about this situation the right way. Don't be petty about it. Because at the end of the day, your spirit got is not going to let that fly. You know what I'm saying? You think you're going to come out on... If you use this in a petty way, if you use this in a petty way, your spirit, you're going to lose eventually. And now they're showing me the Five of Swords. The five, That's what the Five of Swords is about. It's about like having information or arguing about something. And even if you're right about it because you got the information, you hurting people around you. So you lose anyway. That's what the Five of Swords is about. So don't be like that. And they're showing me the um, Seven of Swords, deceit. So that could be, that could be, um, a, this could be about a friend who's not, who's not um, happy with you or something like that. Or maybe a friendship or, I don't know, apply it to your life. <laughs> I could go all day guessing and guessing and guessing. So I'm not going to do that. The next thing I got was angry and bored or angry or you're bored. So it's either you bored at work or you angry at coworkers at work or you bo just bored with your job. You've been there a long time. You want to do something else. My thing here, here it is. And this is, 
spirit always leads me to have these talks with you so i know it's coming from spirit but this is this information this this advice is really coming from me too you got bills you can't leave your job <laughs> you know what i'm saying plain and simple you got bills but you do got days off you do got three days off, two days off, where you can do something on the side. You know what I'm saying? Whatever this thing is that you want to do, investments, like Forex, if you want to get into trading and stuff like that, you want to do something with your money, you want to crochet, you want to make baskets, whatever you want to do, you have vital time to do it. That's whether if you want to do it or if you have the energy to do it. You, every, uh, huh, sorry, when God made us, he put a piece of his self, herself in us. So we have that creative spark. We have that um, creative thing. We have that thing that we are very passionate about. So, but he also gave us free will. You want to do it, do it. You know what I'm saying? So if you are bored with something, at work, then do what you love to do. I always tell people we only have, we have this one life, this experience on earth. But then when we go somewhere else, when we transition, then we have that life. But while you're here on earth, make make heavy sense of what you're doing. Feel passionate about what you're doing. Love what you're doing, but pay those bills too, <laughs> okay? Um, and if you're angry about something, my advice and, of course, spirit's advice is to meditate. You have to meditate. I don't care if you say, like, meditation doesn't work for you. Then try again. If you are trying to get into this metaphysical world where you want to talk to spirit, you want to raise your frequency, frequency, you want to raise your vibrations, you want to be on a, a, a better plane, a higher plane, a godly plane, you want to walk this spiritual path, it all starts with meditation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. Um, so it all starts there. Look what I got. I cannot make this up. You cannot say that I'm not connected to spirit or God or the, the other side because they give me these messages. This is the what? Seven of swords. Deceit. <laughs> okay. Again, a cousin, a brother, a family member, a best friend, a homeboy. Somebody is deceiving you. Uh, and, and don't get me wrong. It don't have to be like somebody stealing your money. It don't have to be like somebody sleeping with your spouse could be it could be anything it could be like somebody be like hey girl or what up homeboy and then they turn around and talk bad about you that's deceit to me too you know what i'm saying it could be anything keep your eye open keep your third eye open watch what you tell your friends watch what you tell people your family too just watch how you move why but let me tell you something sages <laughs> i know that i'm talking a lot but let me tell you something sagittarius is Y'all are, yeah, I'm sorry, but sometimes y'all could be mean. Sometimes y'all could be mean. Sometimes y'all don't, um, your mouth, like what comes out your mouth, y'all don't care about. Like y'all just be like, what? Like it is what it is. Like people don't accept that. Some people don't accept that. So you have to watch your actions. Watch how you move. If you give an off shade, you gonna get shade. If you giving off nastiness, you gonna get nastiness. That's just my, that's just me and spirit's advice, okay? Um, the next thing I got is my way or the highway. And that's exactly what I mean, Sages. Y'all are like that. Like, y'all are very persistent on like, no, it goes like this. You need to go there. This is what you need to do. Da, 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 da. And you could be right. You could be right because my Virgos are like that. Y'all could be right and my Virgos are normally right. My Sagittarius's, y'all are normally right, but your energy and how you come off about it is not right. And no one's going to listen to your rightness if you don't come off right. I hope that made sense. You know what I'm saying? And again, this is not for every single Saggy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying Saggies are not nice. Y'all are nice. But when it's time for y'all to turn, y'all turn. <laughs> plain and simple. 
and you know what? You see how I mentioned Virgos? Maybe somebody out there is with a Virgo. But now I'm also mentioning Gemini. Maybe one of y'all are with a Gemini. Some of y'all are with a Gemini. Um, I, I don't see that as a good look, though. Uh -huh, because y'all are too much alike. Like, y'all are too much alike. The Geminis may be different because they are really nice people. But their twin self is just like a Saggy. Like, what? Like... Y'all ready to get it in, Saggies. Sometimes y'all got to relax. Remember, that way of being is your aura. That way of being is your vibration. That way of being is your frequency. That's not the greatest fre frequency or vibration to be. So make sure you make sure you chill out, meditate, come back to one, talk to people the right way, and you can get you can get more things done that way, Saggies. Um, <clears throat> my way or the highway? I said that. Um, and you right? Nothing. What What are you talking about? My way or the highway? You can't be that way. Nobody's listening to that. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, here's the next thing I got beautiful minds and then I put in parentheses sexy the reason I put sexy and sexy in that is because I first got like I first got sexy mind like sexy mind and I said to myself I, I said spirit can't be talking to me like that you know and so I I changed it to beautiful minds and then I saw that that movie remember that movie wasn't there a movie like called beautiful mind with a little kid and he was like autistic and really smart um I think that's what it was called beautiful minds anyway um I feel like your spouses out there I I want to say this is for the people who are in a relationship but I take that back. This is for anybody. Because you can have a friend who is a Sagittarius and they have a beautiful mind or they have a sexy mind. I think somebody is looking at you like, ooh, like, ooh, they, they, like when, because Saggies, like I told y'all, y'all are very direct. That turns people on sometimes. Sometimes that, that is like a, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Not to me, but I'm just saying some people are like, some people like that. So, Oh, look, <laughs> a cup of love. That's what um spirit just brings out, a cup of love. As I'm talking about, somebody thinks your mind is beautiful or you, someone thinks your mind is sexy. I, that's off. That's, that is so cool. Thank you, spirit. I love how they just correlated with that. And what's at the bottom of the deck? Oh, my deck is not together. Um... So that was that. I, you have to apply that to your life. And my thing is, you probably wouldn't even know if someone thinks that you got a beautiful mind. Be, you know what I'm saying? My, you would have to use your intuition. You would know if somebody got a crush on you or if somebody likes you. So use use your um, discernment. Use your intuition. Yes, y'all are all special beings. Y'all are all magical. So use what God gave you. You know what I'm saying? Um, all right, Spirit, can you come in, please? And if you want to take a card out for the Saggies, um, please do. The next thing I got was doing it your own, doing it on your own. Said I know a lot of Saggies who's like that. Y'all are very independent, very independent. Um, like y'all don't want no help. That's not going to get you anywhere. I'm just telling you. I do want you to look at my eyelashes, though. Mm. Don't be mad. Just go with the flow. I tried to not put on too much makeup today because it's hot. And so, and then I put these new eyelashes on. Back to regular programming. Um, you want to do things on your own. I do, I do, I, I do give it to you for that. I do... I love your strength in that. You know what I mean? I always tell you, if this world goes to war, Saggies, y'all would be one of the people on the front lines. Definitely, y'all would be on the front lines, like, ready to get it in. I love it. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, if you're like that too much, no, I don't need your help. I could do it. I could do it. I could do it. I could do it. Nobody wants to fuck with people like that. I don't even know how to... I'm sorry, spirit, for cursing, 
but it is just the truth. No, everybody doesn't want to fuck with people like that. So if you think you know everything, go over there. Anyway, the next thing is hard to work with others. Hard to work with others. Is it, is it now when they get, when spirit gave that to me, they gave me the energy of like, people really don't want to fuck with you because you so angry and you think you know it all. But right now I'm getting the energy of you don't want to fuck with people because they're like, I don't want to say people are slow, but like y'all are not on the same wavelength. Like, I feel like, I feel like you think that like y'all are not on the same wavelength. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's all right. You know what I'm saying? That is all right to feel that way. Um, that is all right to feel that way. But I feel like if you are working, if this has to do with work, you have to pay your bills. I don't know how much I can express that. Um, and if you are amongst people at work that you are just like, yo, it, it, if you're telling them point blank in black and white, like it, it got to go like this, maybe you should change up the way you communicate. Or maybe you need to go to a higher up. But I think it's, I think you are right about how you feeling. But I think it's just about how you go about things, Saggy. You got to change things up. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you're very guarded. And I feel like when you're guarded and on defense all the time, it shows. So, you know what I'm saying? Just slow it down. <sighs> Center yourself. Listen to what the other side has to tell, say. And see how you could bring ideas together. Same thing with a relationship. If you're in a relationship and it's not in it, look. Mm. If you're in a relationship and it's not going well, you need to walk away. This is the Eight of Cups. I'm just saying it was on the bottom of the deck and I'm talking to you like this. It's really standing out. You need to leave whatever doesn't serve you. If it's not serving you, but then again, Saggies, you have to look at yourself and go within and ask you, how did you, what part did you play? If this is a relationship or even a job that you got to walk away from. Everyone should go within and take accountability on what part they played. So I'm just, I'm keeping this card out. The next card you got was the star. This is awesome. So you have a wish. This is a little wish coming to you. So wish, wish on something, you know what I'm saying? And make sure it's for the greater good. Um, this card also means the divine is following you. They're with you. Your grandmother, somebody's grandmother is with them. They just, they just told me that. Um, somebody's grandmother is with you. She's walking heavily with you. Um, I, I could go on and on. Every, just know that your uncles are with you, your cousins, whoever transitioned to the other side is with you. They are walking with you. You know what I mean? And they're trying to give you energy. They're trying to change the situation for you. But Sag is y'all are very strong minded individuals. Sometimes your spirit guides or your spirit team can't do it for you because you won't allow it okay so again you need to sit back meditate sit in your sit in yourself and and try to switch things up the way you talk your energy that you're giving off and um come at things from a different angle i'm not saying that you're wrong in any way shape or form but I'm saying you might be giving off the wrong energy. So take a bird's eye view, um, get a different perspective on things, and then come at whatever situation it may be. Um, Spirit, can you give me more? I, I know I said I wasn't using the cards, but it just comes so naturally to me, y'all. Um, but I'm still going to give you a bonus reading. Um, six of Cups, y'all. This could be about an ex coming into your life. This could be about an ex being in your life. Um, this could be about an ex leaving your life. This could be about children. This card is also about children. Maybe, maybe children are causing some type of something within your relationship i don't really know but six of cups is about nostalgia it's about thinking about back in the day it's about being with an ex person or thinking about an ex person okay if you're in that position i always tell people a ex is an ex for an ex for a reason 
You know what I'm saying? If it didn't work then, it's not going to work now. That's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but sometimes it works. Sometimes, sometimes two people are exes and then they go away for a year or two and they grow and they change and they come back into each other's lives. So if that ha is happening, that's a great thing. I want to say don't fuck it up. You know what I'm saying? But if you in a relationship and an ex is trying to come back into that, please just do the right thing. Remember, you have this star card. The star card means that you are divinely guided. Your spirit gods are watching you. God is watching you. So don't, 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 don't have no adultery. Don't be cheating. Don't be sneaking around because it's not going to end up well for you. Okay, um, that was the, oh, the last thing I, that spirit made me work right. I don't know why I can't. See, I can't get my words together. Maybe, Sag, is you can't get your words together. This is why spirit is telling you to communicate the right way. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just slow today. Who knows? Um, the last thing I wrote was let people in. And I believe that. I believe that with Sages, y'all are so, y'all are hardcore. I love y'all to death, but y'all are hardcore. Meaning like, it's hard to get in. It's hard. Y'all are like, no. Nah. I'm good. Word. <laughs> like, y'all don't give up a lot. You know what I mean? Y'all don't give up a lot of information about yourselves. Um... I'm hearing what they're telling me because they're, they're giving me the energy of you do, you do, but it's on your terms and it's at your time. You know what I mean? That's what spirit is giving me. Spirit, can you give me some more? Maybe somebody's in school, but they're saying on the books. They're showing me books. And they're telling me, they're saying, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry about it, you know, stop worrying about it and let people in. If you worry, let people in, talk to somebody. They're showing me a dog, so somebody's really like, somebody's really like close to their dog, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, or no, okay, they're telling me that dog was sent to you to comfort you to love you it's like a it's like an angel dog like what do they call them angel animals spirit god spirit animals so they they um they're showing me like that dog is like they're showing me through the eyes of the dog like and you petting the dog like you love this dog they showing me a brown dog and they showing me a white dog now they're showing me a black dog so it's many spirit um animals out there you know what i mean and that's what your dog and your pets and your cats that's what they're there for to give you healing energy sages so just keep doing what you're doing the, the, the dogs know what they're doing the cats, the animals know what they're doing. You know, my spirit animal is a bird, you know, a red bird at that. Not just cardinals, just red, any bird that got red in it is my spirit guide, spirit animals. <clears throat> work is stressing someone, work is stressing somebody out. They're telling me that they want more. I don't know if that's what a spirit, is that what a relationship they're saying that's with work. Somebody wants more at work. Like you want to either move up in work or you want a different job maybe. I feel like this phone is going to fall. Give me a second. Maybe you want a different job or something. This is for, I don't know who this is for, but Spirit just said somebody wants their mother back. So maybe your mother transitioned or passed over or something like that. But you have to understand that your mother is with you at all times. Your mother didn't. I wish people would understand heaven. I wish they would understand that heaven is not far away from us. People need to understand that Mars and all those other planets is farther away than heaven is. Heaven is not up there. Heaven is around us. Okay, please. I wish they would know that they're, when people transition and they go over, they're just going to a different world. But the world is right in front of us. I don't know how to explain it. 
if you understand what I'm talking about, leave it in the comments. Just leave a, take a leap of faith. I don't know what they, why they're making me show you this, but somebody out there is, um, somebody out there is contemplating, maybe on a job. I'm sorry that I keep talking about work because I know a lot of you come here about your spouses and about your relationship, but I don't know why they keep giving me about work. Um, take a leap of faith. They're telling me, and look, I just shuffled the deck. Take a leap of faith again. Um, they're showing me like the Six of Pentacles card. And the Six of, and, and I just had it. I just saw it. I think the Six, not that I think, the Six of Pentacles card is about um, give and take. So the universe wants you to give. And they want you to be able to receive. You know what I'm saying? You, In order to receive, you have to give. You know, and that's in any way. That could be with your charity. That could be with your family. That could be with a, with a homeless person on the street. You know, you have to give in order to receive. But that also has to do with a lot of things that I said in this book, y'all. Like being hard to work with, letting people in. You have to give yourself, even yourself, your energy in order to receive. Thank you, spirit. Devil, devil energy, toxic energy. Toxic. And if people, I don't know if people realize, this card looks like the lover's card. The lover's card look this, looks the same way with an angel behind it. So my thing is, if that has to do with a relationship, then my thing is, the relationship must be toxic. So if the relationship is toxic, walk away from it. Like I said earlier. Maybe that's what you're contemplating on. Should I leave? Should I not? Let me move to an oracle deck. Let me get... Spirit, I'm sorry I'm all over the place, Saggies, but let me get one more card out of here. Even though I said I wasn't doing a lot of cards, I'm still going to give you your bonus. But if Spirit is not yapping and telling me nothing, I got to get it through here some type of way. I heard them say, love on your spouse. Love on your spouse. All that anger and grudges you holding, or if you're mad, spirit is saying, put it to the side and love on your spouse. Like, they must need you right now in a time. They must need you right now. So put aside your feelings and love them up. They're showing me the high priestess card, so I know that y'all are gifted. The people who come here and you're listening to this message, this message is for you. You're gifted, so whatever you're in, they're saying use your intuition. And once you use your intuition, the rest of your gifts will start to work. You know what I'm saying? So please, use your intuition. Please, they're, they're stressing it to me. Like, use your gifts, use your gifts. They just said they just said to me you don't need another card. But I'm looking at the bottom of the deck and they're saying yes, yes, yes. Um this is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is um and when you see me looking off uh, like dumbfounded like this, I'm trying to hear them in one ear as I talk to you through this ear. Um through this ear. You know what I'm saying? The Queen of Swords is about um communication. Again with the whole communication thing. It's a communication card. Um, she she does she, her head is not in the clouds. She knows exactly. Look at her. She knows exactly what she wants. She's very directive. Of like, yo, I told you. But there's a way, Saggies, of doing it. Y'all could be a little pushy. So just remember, don't be so pushy, okay? <clears throat> Spirit, can I get um a card out of the angel? Oh no, let me use my new deck. Ooh, this I never use this deck. Look at this deck. It's the un unsent messages. I don't know. I never used it. Let's just see. Spirit, please. I know you don't really like the cards, but can you please um bring something out of here? They said yes, so here we go. Spirit, can you please come in and bring a card out for the Saggies of this this new deck that I never used? <laughs> Thank you, Spirit.
They said, don't be mad if you don't like what it says. I'm just telling you. Thank you, spirit. Anything else? Oh my God, it fell all the way behind my computer. I want the same thing you want. Oh, ooh, sorry. It says, I want the same thing you want. You have to apply this to your life. So maybe your spouse wants the same thing and they're giving me the word respect. Maybe your spouse feels like they want respect just like they give you respect. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's something like that. I don't know. Um, now they've given me family. It could be a cousin or a mother or something like that where um, y'all are not in a good place. Spirit, can we get another, another one out of here, please? For the Sagis, please. For the Sagittarius Collective, please. Can we get one more out of here? Thank you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Spirit, thank you. I love the way you work. I love it. Thank you so much. This says, some of my favorite memories are of you. So my thing is, this could be what your, your mother saying to you, maybe from the other side. Maybe this is what your spouse is saying to you. I don't, this deck is just like phrases that people would say. So you have to kind of put this to your life it says some of my favorite memories are of you maybe you're thinking of someone and and you know some of your favorite memories are of that person so that could be of you the bottom of the deck says one of us needs to open up and say something that is definitely for no that could be for a family member or a friend but you know i'm thinking that it could be for a relationship so saggies that's all i have for you i'll come back and i'll use a different deck i wish i could tell you the way i really feel that 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 see i wish i could tell you the way i really feel somebody wants to tell you the way they really feel or you want to tell somebody the way you really feel. But Saggies, you don't really tell people the way you feel. Unless it just like bursts out or comes out. Or if you're in a position to say it. So my thing is, tell someone the way you really feel. Just communicate the right way. It's easy. I mean, you got to know the person. If the person is a rah, rah, rah. And you, I mean... If the person is a rah, rah, rah person, hit them with something different and come to them with love and discernment and compassion. You know what I'm saying? If the person is like they want to talk, but they're like, oh, uh, 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 give them a little like talk to them, but give them a little assertiveness so that, you know, it can make them come out of their skin. Not to argue, but where y'all will communicate and get somewhere. Okay. I hope that made sense, y'all. I love y'all, my Saggies. Nate, 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 I hope you like this. Mr. Nate, I hope you like this reading. It was definitely for you. I hope you resonated with it. I hope you all could take a piece of something from it, okay? Remember the foundation to this channel and the foundation to Danny Moon, sessions, guidance with Danny Moon, anything that has to do with Karen Alexander or Danny Moon, the foundation is love, y'all. It always comes comes back to love just remember that okay um hit me up if you want a private reading remember uh, my prices are going to change in june so right now i'm just asking for donations so hit me up if you want a private reading um i do mediumship you know from across to the other side um and i do regular card reading so um, my email is moondanny1976 at gmail.com. Please give me at least 48 hours to get back to you. Some people get mad at me if I don't hit them back in two hours. Don't expect that, okay? I got a 10-year-old. <clears throat> and I work a 12-hour shift. <laughs> I love you.